Hi ladies, welcome to my channel. Now today I'm super happy to share with you guys my new travel jewelry box that I did buy um, through online uh, Pandora New Zealand. Now I just got this delivery yesterday. Um, sadly, I couldn't open the package on video um, because the box was too big and there was no way to capture it all um, on video. So. In front of you, what we do have is the Coral Pink Travel Jewelry Box. Now, this box I actually bought two of. Now, my original plan for these two jewelry boxes was one, I was going to use it to actually hold um, some jewelry. And the other one, I was going to use it just to store my completed bracelets because I did get a question from a subscriber um, asking me, well, because I showed my jewelry boxes, um, she asked, well, where do I store my completed bracelets? So I'm going to show you that shortly. Now first, I want to show you guys this beautiful little jewelry box. Now this is exclusive to New Zealand and Australia. Uh, they don't make this in Canada. Um, in Canada, we do have the hard boxes. Um, we don't have the soft ones. Now, for me, the soft ones are a little bit more, um, they're easier to manage. And I'm able to, um, to move from space to space with this jewelry box. Because it's so small. Well, I mean, it's not that small, but it's small. <laughs> Alright, so first, let's get started. All right, so again, like I said, it is coral pink. And I'm not sure if it's a leather or if it's a different type of material, but it is textured. And we do have the new circular Pandora logo. And I wanted to show you guys as well the back because it is important to see the back and the little zipper logo. I guess tag, we'll call it. All right, so let's get started. I'm just gonna spin her back around again. And let's open this up and see what it holds. Oh, and the zipper's on this side. All right, so. We'll open this carefully. Now, when I did get this, um, it was very um, stiff, so the lid actually didn't stay open. Now, what you're going to see is I'm going to flip, I'm going to flip it upside down, so I can show you guys the actual lid. Okay. Now, in the lid, we do have four hooks. Okay. Now these hooks, um, you could put necklaces, you could put the old pendants, I mean it's up to your imagination um, just for what you can use them for. Okay, then we do have the little elastic pouch. Again, this is perfect for um, to store your, um, your picks to open your bracelets. Um, you can have little earrings and baggies in here. Um, I wouldn't put any bracelets because if you do work from your jewelry box and you have the lid open, the bracelets are going to slouch, especially the snake chain. If it's bangles, then they can go on these hooks or they can go inside here. Now, it does come as well with this pink little pouch. Now, this pouch is handy. You could put your polishing cloth in here, um, little items like maybe your silicone stoppers or your clasp opener. Um, but I probably wouldn't put any jewelry in here because what happens is that there's this little button or snap. So what happens is that everyone knows when you put something in here, then you kind of like have to really press hard on the button. So I wouldn't put any jewelry in there. No rings or anything like that because you're going to be pressing so hard that you may scratch with whatever's in here. Um, yeah, so be careful what you put in these little pouches. And here we do have the Pandora logo. 
Okay, now the jewelry box, as you can see right now, it is empty. Okay, let me just flip it the other way around. All right, let me put this in here to keep it open. All right, so what you can see is in here, it is, it is pretty deep. Okay, and you do have little risers here on the edges. Now these are not removable. Okay, they are um, glued in, I believe. Okay, now what's cute about this jewelry box is that it comes with this. Okay, so let me back up the jewelry box. And what it does is this little compartment sits right on top of the riser. Okay, so let's move that to, to the back. All right, so now here we do have this beautiful, beautiful, soft, I don't know what material this is, but it's very soft, super, super soft. And you do have the logo, Pandora. Now the top part of this little compartment and this is cute because you can actually take this out of the jewelry box and work from it. Okay. So the top part is actually a lid, but it's also multi multi-purpose because it does have a mirror as well. Now the mirror, I'm not quite sure why they put that in there. Uh, maybe for, I don't know, um, to see how good your earrings look on you. Um, <laughs> I don't really understand the reason behind that. But let's put this away. Um, and also at the end, I will show you, I will actually put this back in the jewelry box and show you how to avoid getting these things caught in the zipper. Okay. Um, but um, there is another little trick that you can use. Um, and I've done this before, is, you know, any type of plastic card, like gift cards, um, don't use your bank card, um, but any type of like membership card that's plastic, what I would do is I would put one on top, well, actually, sit this flat, okay, I would put a card on top and a card at the bottom, and then I would use one of those clips, you know those pinching clips? I would put that on there and leave it on for about a day and then the tabs will actually sit more like this okay so there's not that much thinking involved when you actually go to put it away or to close your jewelry box all right let's move this aside all right so this little jewelry box um, tray we'll call it is limited okay now these little things here, they're for, usually they're for rings. As you can see, I have a beautiful ring in the center. Now, if you have any rings that have those, um, that stick out at the top, you won't be able to put the lid back on, okay? It's gonna actually scrape against the glass that's on the other side of the lid. So that's something that they didn't really think about uh, when the des when designing this box. Now you have four little compartments. Oh, before I get to that, actually. As you can see here, I decided to put some of my pendants in here. Okay. Uh, so technically, I could actually put the pendant um, inside, like completely inside, and just have the little bale um, popping up. But what I did is I actually put the bale sideways and tucked it in. So like that, they can't really, they can move a little bit, but they're not gonna like slide all over the place, okay? You can use this area pretty much for anything, um, but you can't really put a bracelet on here because the bracelets are too long. I mean, if you go for the smallest size, which I don't, I think it's a 6.8, the smallest size, it'll still be too long for this okay um, and my other idea 
would be to to put some bead storage bars some of the four inch ones but again it'll be too high you won't be able to put the lid I mean you don't have to put the lid the lid could be a, a separate piece to design on okay now I'm just going to take these little silica bags out to show you the little compartments now in these little compartments I was able to put some O pendants okay they the small these are the small ones though they fit perfectly even one with a charm on it it fits perfectly you could actually put about three charms on the small depending what they are and then again i recommend for you to put these little silica bags on top I don't recommend for you guys to, to stack or put more than one piece because they're just going to scrape against each other and you don't really want that unless they're in baggies. But then you have to get the really small baggies, the ones that are so teeny that are very hard to open, smaller than when you get the um, charms when you buy online. I only have one of them and I rarely use it because it's really hard on the hands. Now this compartment here okay this I did try out two different sizes of bracelets in here I tried a 7 a 7.5 and a 7.9 now they all fit anything higher than 8 point, uh, than 7.9 like an 8.3 will not fit in this area and another thing is that if you put the bracelet in here, you actually have to turn your dangle charms in. Okay? In other words, they're not hanging on the outside, they're hanging on the inside. And the medium one, it does fit in this um, square, but you would have to put it a little bit on an angle. It's not going to sit flush. So that's why I decided to put it in this one. And then I do have my earrings. I only have two. Or, yeah. Um, and these I left at the baggie. Just to save time on cleaning. Okay. And what's really cool about the lid, and these little pull tabs as well, is always, um, I tuck them in. Um, so you have to remove the lid, then take these tabs and pull this tray out of the jewelry box. Okay. Um, yeah. So again, and if you don't have the rings and you don't put the lid on, you can actually put some charms um, folded in here like I have previously shown you um, of what I did in my green jewelry box or the green travel jewelry box and that's just folding them in these recesses but again filling this out is completely up to you um, you guys do what works for you um, just because it works for me it doesn't mean that it's going to work for you um, so again be creative um, style it the way you do want it to be styled and the reason why I did get two again was one was for workability and the other one was for bracelet storage now I also wanted to share with you guys since I have this beautiful charm here now this charm here I actually bought this a couple of days ago at my retail store this was out of stock actually in two days in Canada. So I was very lucky when I went to the, re to the store, um, they actually had two left. So I was happy to buy one. And it was actually a very fun experience um, because the Pandora store at my local mall, it, it's actually mandatory to wear a mask, but I have issues with masks. Um, as soon as I feel like my oxygen is getting affected, um, I have a hard time breathing. So, uh, the manager was happy to help me out at the door. 
So that was something very unexpected. And I'm very happy. Uh, that really made my day. Now, on this Hamsa pendant, we do have one side that is non-beaded. The other side has little, it's, um, has little beaded detail all around the hand. The bail is beaded. And I like these bales because you can actually wear it on a bracelet. Um, so it, it actually dangles like it, it's not too high up on the bracelet that you can't like really see it. And it looks fantastic on a necklace or on an O pendant. And again, your basic bracelet. Now what's really pretty on this one, as you can see, we do have the eye in the center. We have the moon, a star, a planet, and I believe it's either the sun or a starburst, or it could be a shooting star. Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's what you want it to be. <laughs> it can be what you want it to be. So I'm very happy to have um, to to um, be able to have bought this piece. All right, so. What I'm going to do is put the lid back on. And do be careful, ladies, when you do um, pull on these tabs, because when you pull, sometimes you could actually create lift or um, right here where the two, because it's two pieces glued together. Okay. So please keep that in mind. And then it sits perfectly on top. And it's actually sealed. Like with silica gel, I don't think I need to put all that jewelry in little baggies. And inside the jewelry box, there's about, I'd say, a quarter inch or a little bit more. So you can put about three bracelets. Or if you do have, like, say, five bracelets that you work on a lot, you can actually curve them, you know, like a happy face or a smile. You could do that in the bottom of this jewelry box because it is high enough to accommodate the height of fascinating Muranos. And that's the one problem with Pendar jewelry boxes. Usually they don't give you the adequate space um, to accommodate um, fascinating Murano beads. All right, so now what I do First, let's take this out. Now, these are brand new, so the lid actually always wants to come down. So with time, it will actually stay up. All right, so let's take this and let's sit this. Just be careful not to drag um, this piece onto the zipper, okay? Because you might cause um, like little, it might catch on this material. Okay, now when you close this, simply do this, tuck in or press on the little flaps and bring your lid down. But before you zip, always have a little sneak peek. They're in, perfect. I don't know if you guys can see, no, oh, you can see, oh, a little bit, see how it's inside and standing up. And then we close, okay? Because you don't want to catch those little tabs um, in the zipper. Because then how would you take out the trays if your little uh, tabs are damaged? But I have another little trick for that as well. And that is to simply um, go to your local Michael store or dollar store or even a secondhand shop and buy ribbon. And just cut a piece of ribbon that is large enough to actually hold the middle tray. Okay. And just wrap it and make a little bow. Then you never have to worry about the tabs. And it will actually help when you actually have to lift it out of the travel jewelry box. Okay. Now, let's move on to the other jewelry box. So I can show you guys how I actually store my bracelets that are completed. 
But first, I will actually show you how I was actually storing them, which I'm sure I'm going to get some. What were you thinking? All right, so let's just slide this along. All right, now, when I was completing my bracelets, I was putting them in this. Now, they weren't directly sitting on this. This is just a little uh, dollar store tray, plastic tray. And what I did is I bought this little, this material here is what you buy at the dollar store to actually line your um, cupboards <laughs> or drawers. And I took a big piece of uh, plastic, I cut it into a square, I glued the um, this material to it, and then I simply just dropped it or seeded it in the bottom. Okay. Now this worked. It did the trick when I when I needed it, but it has evolved. So now they're no longer in here. Now they are in. The second jewelry box. All right, sorry, ladies, there's a blank screen there. All right, so here is the second one. Now, this one's a little bit heavier. Now, there's eight bracelets stored in here. Okay, so let's have a look. And again, always be careful when you open your jewelry box. Okay. Now, in this jewelry box, I do not have the center tray. I removed it. Okay. All right. Now, with these jewelry boxes, what you'll notice, okay, as you notice here, there's a lot of space. Here, it's very tight and squished. Now, that's because the jewelry box is brand new. So, I got to think of um, a way to actually press the top left corner of the lid down and put something behind here to give it a lift while keeping this part down. So that's a trick. I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. All right. So I'm going to put this in here so the lid doesn't close. And I'm also going to get something to lift this jewelry box. So if you just give me a second, I'm just going to use my cell phone wallet to just give it a little lift okay all right so so this is where my bracelets are now so what i do is i actually take these little white pouches i'm just going to take this one here because the star wars one is a little bit big for the pouch that i put it in okay and I'm going to show you. So, you know these little pouches? Well, I cut the um, string off. Okay? Because if you keep the string on and you put it in a bag, it's not going to sit flush. Okay? And then I put it in this little bag. I try to get all the air out. And I usually put a folded silica packet in right in the middle of the bracelet because it also prevents it from slouching down. And then what I do is I label. Now these labels are super cool. They're like transparent and easily removable. They're peelable labels. I guess that would be the right term. So you just grab it and then you just peel it off and you don't wreck your plastic bag. And it's always um, good to label your bracelets, especially when they're in white pouches, because then you don't have to go through all your bracelets to find the one that you want to work on. It saves time. Okay. And there's about uh, eight of these in this box, and I could fit another, probably another four, to be honest. So that's 12 bracelets that I could actually hold in here in pouches then in baggies okay now um also what i do is i'll put two okay um face like this facing upwards and then the next two it's the opposite okay i'll put the the, the um curved side at the top 
Okay, so it stays balanced. So look at that, you don't have like, like this high at the front and then super low at the back. Might as well. And it also keeps the bracelet from, because again, I fill them usually with one third or half. Um, so if you don't balance them properly, you'll end up with a bracelet that kind of does the little floppy. Um, how can I explain that? It's like when you hold your bracelet and then you have the bottom, which is full of your charms. And then the top is just the chain, right? So it tends to like go like this, or sorry, like this. And when you stack them this way, they're more flush. And if the edges is a problem, what I usually do as well is use my trusted tool and I simply tuck, I just tuck them like that. And then the, um, the top of the baggies don't become an issue. So that's my trick. Um, I hope this trick works for others. Again, these jewelry boxes aren't made to hold like a whole collection, um, which is the reason why I got these because they're smaller, they're more workable. Um, I can put them wherever I want. It's not stuck being in one specific location, especially with the, the new harder boxes um, from Pandora. They're more like you put it on a desk or on a, a table and it stays there permanently. You know what I mean? So how do you want to be, that reduces your workability. Um, because then you're stuck at that table. <laughs> but the advantage is everything's there. But the disadvantage is you can't really go somewhere else in the house and design your bracelets. So again, so this is where I hold all my bracelets. I like it. I think it's super cute. And if I wanted to store other items, again, I could do that with, oops, in the little pouch here. Okay, this can hold a lot. Now, as for the little loops that are at the top, which is very hard to show you guys because I can't flip this jewelry box. Um, if I do, all the jewelry is going to come out of it. Um, so you do, again, there are four hooks at the top in the lid. And I have to figure out what I'm going to use those for. I might actually hang pouches with the uh, string that's still attached. Um, I do have more of those because they always give you those when you buy online. At some point, you get like a ton of them. So instead of reselling, you know, you use them. So I think that's what I'm going to do with those top hooks. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. So again, I love these storage bars to hold the, the um, lid open. And then I don't have to worry about any tabs in this one. Now the only thing to this one is that I will have to actually um, put a little label on the little, on this thing here to tell me um, the difference between the one that I'm working with and the one that stores all my bracelets. But I will know because it is heavy. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, I'm very lucky that I have a brother-in-law that lives in New Zealand. I'm very lucky. They did retail for $45 uh, New Zealand. Um, and the shipping cost to get them to me was another $45 New Zealand. But it's actually a little bit cheaper when you convert it to Canadian funds. And what's cute about them is that I can actually stack them if I wanted to. I don't because what's going to happen is that this, this zipper is going to bubble. We don't want that. So I'm really happy with them. I know Canada had some jewelry boxes like these, um, but th they had too many little compartments um, and 
I think Pandora needs to make jewelry boxes for specifics. You know what I mean? Like if, it, like if it's going to be bracelets, just make a jewelry box just for bracelets and charms and a little place to put the pendants. And then another jewelry box for earrings and rings, okay? Because you can't do it all in one box unless you want a jewelry box that's about like, I don't know, say two feet by four feet, um, <laughs> which is a little unreasonable to me. So yeah, so I'm very happy to uh, be able to share this um, video with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask or comment. If you like this video, do click like. If you wish to subscribe, I would absolutely adore it. And I wish you guys a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching.